Our world is changing. The way we produce and consume energy is at the heart of these changes. For centuries, fossil fuels powered our societies. They drove industrial revolutions and shaped economies. But these sources are not endless. More importantly, their use harms our planet. The transition from fossil fuels to renewable energy is not just a trend, it is a necessity. Our future depends on it. Renewables are sources of energy that replenish themselves naturally. They are cleaner and more sustainable. This shift is about more than just reducing emissions. It is about creating a healthier planet. It is about ensuring that future generations can thrive. It is a path towards a sustainable and resilient future. The environmental reasons for the energy transition are clear. Fossil fuels emit greenhouse gases. These gases trap heat in our atmosphere. This leads to global warming and climate change. The effects are already visible. Rising sea levels, extreme weather, and loss of biodiversity are just a few. Economically, the dependence on fossil fuels is risky. Prices are volatile. Supply chains are vulnerable to geopolitical tensions. Renewable energy, on the other hand, offers stability. It harnesses natural resources that are abundant and free. The transition also creates jobs. The renewable energy sector is growing rapidly. It requires new skills and expertise. This can drive economic growth and innovation. Investing in renewables is investing in our future. Reducing reliance on fossil fuels can also improve public health. Air pollution from burning fossil fuels causes respiratory diseases. Cleaner energy sources can lead to cleaner air and healthier communities. Wind energy is one of the fastest growing renewable sources. It harnesses the power of the wind to generate electricity. Wind turbines capture kinetic energy from the wind. This energy turns the blades which spin a generator to produce electricity. Wind farms can be onshore or offshore. Offshore wind farms are typically more efficient. They take advantage of stronger and more consistent winds over the sea. However, they are also more expensive to build and maintain. Wind energy has many benefits. It is clean and does not produce emissions. It uses a natural and abundant resource. The technology has advanced rapidly, making it more cost competitive. However, wind energy also faces challenges. Turbines can affect local wildlife, especially birds and bats. There can be opposition to their visual impact on landscapes. Despite these challenges, the potential of wind energy is immense. Solar energy harnesses the power of the sun. It converts sunlight into electricity using photovoltaic cells. These cells are typically made of silicon. When sunlight hits the cells, it creates an electric current. Solar panels can be installed on rooftops or in large solar farms. They can provide power to homes, businesses, and even entire communities. The technology is versatile and scalable. One of the biggest advantages of solar energy is its accessibility. The sun shines everywhere. This makes solar energy particularly valuable in remote and rural areas. It can provide electricity where traditional grids cannot reach. Despite its benefits, solar energy also has limitations. It is intermittent. It depends on sunlight, which varies with weather and time of day. This challenge can be mitigated with energy storage solutions. The cost of solar panels has also been a barrier, but prices are falling rapidly. Section 5. The Role of Hydroelectric Power Hydroelectric power is one of the oldest forms of renewable energy. It uses the energy of flowing water to generate electricity. Dams are built on rivers to create reservoirs. Water released from these reservoirs flows through turbines generating electricity. Hydroelectric plants can provide large amounts of power. They are reliable and can quickly adjust to changes in electricity demand. This makes them valuable for maintaining grid stability. One of the main advantages of hydroelectric power is its ability to store energy. Reservoirs act as giant batteries. They store potential energy that can be released when needed. This makes hydroelectric power a key player in balancing supply and demand. However, building dams can have significant environmental impacts. They can disrupt local ecosystems and displace communities. Managing these impacts is crucial for sustainable hydroelectric development. Section 6. Exploring Geothermal Energy Geothermal energy taps into the heat stored within the Earth. 
This heat comes from the Earth's core and radioactive decay of minerals. Geothermal plants generate electricity or provide direct heating. There are three main types, dry steam, flash steam, and binary cycle. Dry steam plants use steam directly from reservoirs. Flash steam plants use high-pressure hot water. Binary cycle plants transfer heat to a secondary fluid. Geothermal energy is reliable and provides steady power. It is efficient and has a small land footprint. Unlike solar and wind, it is not weather dependent. However, it is location specific. Most effective in regions with high geothermal activity. Initial costs of drilling and exploration can be high. Despite challenges, geothermal energy has great potential. Section 7. Challenges in Energy Storage Energy storage is crucial for integrating renewable energy into the grid. Renewable sources like wind and solar are intermittent. They do not produce power consistently. Energy storage can store excess energy and release it when needed. Batteries are the most common solution, used in small and large-scale applications. Lithium-ion batteries are popular, but flow batteries are emerging. Pumped hydro storage uses two water reservoirs. Water is pumped to a higher reservoir with excess electricity. Water flows back to generate power when needed. Despite advancements, energy storage faces challenges. Batteries degrade over time and have limited capacity. Developing cost-effective and efficient storage is key to renewable energy success. Section 8. Integrating Renewables into the Grid Integrating renewable energy into the grid presents unique challenges. The grid was designed for consistent power from large centralized plants. Renewables are decentralized and variable. This requires a more flexible and resilient grid. Smart grids are part of the solution. They use digital technology to monitor and manage electricity flows. They can respond quickly to changes in supply and demand. This helps balance the grid and integrate renewables more effectively. Demand response programs also help. They encourage consumers to shift their electricity use to times when renewable production is high. This can reduce strain on the grid and make better use of renewable energy. Grid-scale energy storage and distributed generation are also important. They provide backup power and reduce reliance on centralized plants. Together, these solutions can create a more sustainable and resilient energy system. Section 9, Government Policies and Economic Incentives Government policies play a crucial role in promoting renewable energy. Subsidies and tax incentives can make renewables more competitive with fossil fuels. Policies can also set targets for renewable energy adoption and emissions reductions. Feed-in tariffs are one policy tool. They guarantee a fixed price for renewable energy fed into the grid. This provides long-term security for investors. Renewable portfolio standards require utilities to source a certain percentage of their power from renewables. Carbon pricing is another tool. It puts a cost on carbon emissions, incentivizing cleaner energy sources. Cap and trade systems and carbon taxes are common approaches. Public investment in research and development is also important. It can drive innovation and reduce costs. Government policies can create a supportive environment for renewable energy to thrive. Section 10, Global Efforts and Innovations. Countries around the world are investing in renewable energy. China is a leader in solar and wind power. It has the largest installed capacity of both. The European Union has ambitious targets for renewable energy and emissions reductions. Innovations are driving the transition. Floating solar farms can be placed on bodies of water, saving land. Next generation wind turbines are taller and more efficient. Advances in battery technology are improving energy storage. Emerging markets are also adopting renewables. India is rapidly expanding its solar capacity. African countries are using solar to electrify rural areas. These efforts are crucial for global energy transition. International cooperation is key. Initiatives like the Paris Agreement bring countries together to combat climate change. Sharing technology and best practices can accelerate the transition. Section 11, the path to a sustainable future. The energy transition is not just about technology. It is about creating a sustainable future. It is about protecting our planet and ensuring a better quality of life for all. Renewable energy is a powerful tool for achieving this. It can reduce emissions, create jobs, and improve public health. It can make our energy systems more resilient and sustainable. 
The path to a sustainable future requires collective action. Governments, businesses, and individuals all have a role to play. By embracing renewable energy, we can make a significant impact. The stakes are high, but the potential rewards are immense. The transition to renewable energy is not just possible, it is necessary. It is the key to a brighter, cleaner, and more sustainable future for all.